So first of all, let's create a couple of buttons here. Uh, I'm going to use the text tool and I'm going to use a red color for our fill. And let's create three buttons here. We have a home button. Let's say this is a personal website. We also have a button with links to some of your favorite websites and another button with pictures. So we have three separate buttons here. Let's uh, go ahead and convert these to buttons. We'll click on the home button. We'll hit F8 to convert it to a symbol. And we're going to go ahead and make this to a button symbol. And we'll call this button home. Now let's go inside this home button symbol and let's create a little animation for the overstate. When we hover over it, let's say we want to give this button a sketchy look. Uh, first of all, let's make this button a little bit bigger. Let's bring our size up. 55-ish will work. Uh, 56, okay, then we'll move this into place. Okay, for our overstate, I'm going to go ahead and hit F6 to add a new keyframe. So we have that same text there in the overstate. Except in the overstate now, I'm going to take this text field and convert it to a movie clip symbol. So we'll hit F8, convert it to a movie clip, and we'll call this Home Anim. Roll Enter to test it, and as we hover over it, you'll notice we get this jittery, shaky effect. The problem with it right now is you'll notice we haven't fixed that hit state. So when we hover over blank areas in the button, nothing is happening. So we do need to add a hit state there as well. So let's double click to go back into that button symbol. So we have just a plain text field in frame one in the up state. In the over state, we have that movie clip. And in the hit state, we're going to hit F6 to add a new keyframe there. In the hit state, we want to put uh, a big rectangle around all this. And this is going to be our clickable area. So we'll just drag around the entire word there. And we're done with that button. So we go back to scene one. There's our button.